Go ahead. Hi. Um, yes. My question is about overall statistics. Ah, yes. Like, hey! <laughs> get back here, Drew. Um, how large is your list of everybody who's ever been on the cruise? Oh, gosh. And I know that the, my first cruise two years ago, I believe the boat would hold 1,900, and we had 1,700. Yeah, do you have, have do you have a we must like especially for next year, you know, if you can share what's your we must have so many people in order for this to not completely fold up financially. Oh yeah, absolutely. I won't I'll talk specific dollars and numbers and all of the specifics. This is a lot of what I do uh, when I'm not performing and, and doing event-based stuff or expressions and statistics. Uh, this ship and the one we've been on the past two years is 1,958 people at double occupancy. Uh, so it will vary up and down from that. Next year it is, I think, 2,104. And there are penalties if you don't reach a certain number. There are penalties if you go over a certain number. So we're aiming for the sweet spot. I think the number we ended up uh, this year was 1,964. So we pretty for much... For 2019, you mean? For 2019. Uh, so, really, if we get to about 80 percent, that's all right. That's what we certainly breathe a sigh of relief. Yeah, uh, we're already past total wreckage point, so we're, we feel pretty good about that. Not totally wrecked, everybody. Not wrecked. <laughs> <laughs> but I will say that certainly this year was so great, um, selling out not just because it makes for for uh, full ship and certainty, but we we're, were able to pull out all the stops. Uh, the prior year, it was tight, and we had to do a lot of things um, to to economize, but never in a way that would diminish what got to be experienced. So that's that's the biggest benefit to being sold out. Being sold out early meant my time, Drew's time, Paul's, Jonathan's. We didn't need to spend time and treasure on promoting that we could put all of that effort into planning this event. So that is why we opened booking so early. That is why we make this push, because if we know we have the ship sold out, statistically we'll know at what point it will be sold out, that we can spend all of our energy on the, the important part, which is making the party. Yeah, I, I'll say from the um, booking at jokocruise.com customer uh, service perspective throughout the year, we know that, the, you know, that, that there are changes to the deposit schedule that have been rolling out, um, and, and that those can be difficult to adjust to, um, and, and I, I would just say that we, we really, we work to structure the incentives of the deposit schedule and, and, and the other schedules uh, regarding the terms. Um, hey Drew, what you doing? Hey Drew, what's happening now? I'm in the middle of management Q&A, and I just had to step up to take a call from the beverage manager. Now you guys are interrupting me with this fucking song style. <laughs> and that's what's up with Drew. Every time I see them coming toward me, I think it's for a real reason. <laughs> Understand is Drew actually pays those three you know, gentlemen to follow him full time <laughs> throughout the year. Yeah, it's, it's weird. It's, it's, it's weird. Right. Right. Yeah. 